Hey guys, it's um it's Dragony. What have you guys what have you guys been up to? Um I'm alive, I'm not dead. I uh just got grounded off my computer for a while, so that's why I haven't really been making any let's plays, but I'm back now, so you can expect some let's plays this uh Thursday. As well as this weekend, because I'm going to my mom's this weekend, so yeah, that's all good. Anyways, this is a new episode of Dragony Review. And today I'm gonna be talking about the new Lincoln Park album album titled Living Things. I don't even think it's been officially released yet. That's in just a couple more days I believe, but Lincoln Park streamed the album, so we all got it early. Yeah, a lot of people were thinking it's a leak for some reason, but the album wasn't leaked. Lincoln Park streamed it themselves, so Yeah, so Yeah, so I gave I gave Living Things about a million listens. And I can tell you this. Living Things is the best album Lincoln Park has put out since Meteora. It is miles and miles ahead of Minutes to Midnight and A Thousand Suns. My god, this album is so good. What Lincoln Park seems to have done with this album is that they took Meteora, they took A Thousand Suns, and just mashed them together. So, yeah, that's pretty much what this album is. It's a mix of Meteora and A Thousand Suns, and it's actually really good. Like when burn it when um the, when the lead single of the album burn it down first came out and I heard it I, I thought it was an alright song but I thought this album was just gonna be like a thousand suns all over again because that's kind of what burn it down sounds like it just sounds like it could go on a, a thousand suns but no 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 like there are maybe a couple songs on the album that sound like a thousand suns but the rest the rest are all like. A Thousand Suns mixed with Meteora mixed with a little bit of Minutes to Midnight. And it actually makes a really, really, really interesting sound. Okay, so... <clears throat> my favorite song on the album, which is probably almost everyone else's favorite song, is track number one, titled Lost in the Echo. This song just straight up sounds like it could go on Meteora, like, it does have some A Thousand a thousand Suns sounds in there, but even with those sounds, it, there, there's some, there's some power guitar in there, there's some screaming at the end, uh, it even, um, the, the, the mic rapping in the choruses, Chester doing the, the, um, the cor- hey, no, Mike rapping in the verses, sorry. Mike rapping in the verses, Chester doing the choruses. Uh, it even- actually, yeah, it's even kind of heavy at the end, too. Like, some- some pretty heavy guitar at the end, lots of screaming at the end. Uh, it really just sounds like it could almost go on Meteora. So that was easily my favorite song on the album. And then there's also the other next single, Lies, Greed, Misery, the fourth track. This song kind of sounds like it would go on A Thousand Suns. It's kind of like a Wretches and Kings thing going on with like the um, the rapping and the electronic sounds, but I like it. Well, I, I liked Wretches and Kings too. That was my favorite A Thousand Suns song, but a lot, a lot of people don't like Lies, Greed, Misery for some reason because it sounds kind of wonky, I guess, the, um, the electronics to it. But I, I think it sounds cool. I don't know, I just like it. And then, um, the sixth song on the album, Castle of Glass. The first softish song on the album. And it is absolutely beautiful. Castle of Glass, probably one of the best songs in their career. The verses are beautiful, the chorus is absolutely amazing. I really just can't get enough of that song. And then the seventh track comes on called Victimized, and I think they did this on purpose. Castle of the Glass being a soft song, and then going into Victimized, which is a fucking crazy-ass, brutal, fast, angry song. Easily the heaviest song on the album. Lots of people are saying it's the heaviest of their career, but I really wouldn't go that far. It's, it's definitely up there, but I wouldn't say it's the heaviest. But yeah, Victimized is just a really short, really brutal song really angry. Chester with, uh, Chester, like, just screaming. Like, I don't even think Chester sang at all in this song. He just screamed the whole thing. And then there was Mike rapping and stuff, too, of course. 
And then the ninth track, Skin the Bone. Um, a lot of people don't like this song. I do. Skin the Bone, personally, I think it's a little unique. Yeah, it, it's not really a rock song. It has more of an electronic sound to it. But the beat, man, that beat... Right, right from the intro of the song, the beat just hits you in the face. It's so good. Skin the bone, blah, 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 blah. That was me trying to sing and I failed. <laughs> and then the 11th song, Tinfoil. A lot of people are calling this the modern day session from Meteora. Because it, it basically is. It's the second last song on the album. It's an instrumental. Mind you, it doesn't really sound anything like session, but it's still a second last song and an instrumental and all that. And then the last song on the album, Powerless. This is the third ballad on the album, and um, I, I really just don't have any words to describe this song. It's absolutely beautiful in every way. When the guitar comes in at the end, it just sounds so powerful and emotional. And oh my god, <laughs> it's just that incredible. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this album has 12 songs. I did not talk about every single song. Um, the songs I did not talk about are also really good as well, but all the ones I did talk about are my absolute favorites. But uh, all the other the other songs are really good too. Don't mind. Like, don't don't get me wrong. The whole album is fucking gorgeous, but those are my absolute favorites. So this is my third favorite Linkin Park album. My first being Hybrid Theory, and then Meteora, and then. This Living Things, and then Minutes to Midnight, and then A Thousand Suns. I didn't like A Thousand Suns too much. It was alright. I could listen to it, but eh, compared to the other stuff, it wasn't that good. Alright, time for me to rate Living Things now. Out of 10, I give Living Things a 9.5. This album is incredible, and if you are a fan of new or old Linkin Park, I really suggest you listen to this, because it's just a great fucking mix. It, one of the best albums of their career, and I, as, as a Linkin Park fan, um, a bigger fan of the old stuff than I am of the new stuff, I would say that this album is incredible, and actually a pretty good throwback, too. Well, that is Dragon Maze Review of Living Things by Linkin Park. I hope you liked it. I will see you guys this Thursday with a new Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Goodbye.